Once, the Basil disciple approached his guru, Bhava, and asked him, Where is that eternal? The infinite supreme? The Brahman of the Upanishads? The master did not speak. The disciple repeated the question, but the master did not open his mouth. He kept a perfect silence. What is this, Atman? The disciple continued to ask. Finally, the teacher said, I have answered several times, but you don't understand me. What should I do? This Atman is silence. This Brahman, the infinity, the eternal cannot be explained. Know it. There is no more place for him to dwell except the eternal and deep silence. Silence is more eloquent than words. Seers and wise do not speak. Silence is the means of communication. This is a strange but powerful mode of conversation. The true aspirants who are pure and live with the wise know only this language of silence. In this silence you will find proof of the existence of God. God's language is silence. Learn this language. Listen to the voice of silence very carefully. Listen to your silent voice calming your mind. The voice of silence will guide you, will remove all your questions. This will inspire you. Learn all about silence and become wise. Listen to the voice that has no sound. The voice of silence. For people who have their hearts wounded by failures, disappointments and losses, there is no more bombs than silence. For those who wounded their nerves in the turbulence of life, there is no better soothing panacea than silence. Silence is Atman. The silence is Brahman. Silence is the truth. Silence is the immortal soul. Silence is God. Silence is the substrate for this body and mind. Silence is the background for this universe. Silence is the only reality. Silence is power. Silence is the peace that exceeds all understanding is silence. The goal of, of your life is silence. The purpose of life is silence. The purpose of its existence is silence. How can we find true peace or silence now? The silence is inside. It can be felt or perceived silencing the turbulent mind. Eh? The intellect must stop working. The inner direction must be in perfect rest. All waves of the mind must decrease completely. The mind should rest in the ocean of silence, or Brahman. Only then can you enjoy the true eternal silence. You will have to put yourself in a state of stillness, silencing all bubbling thoughts and emotions, connecting your mind with your source. Do not try to ward off irrelevant and unimportant thoughts. The more you try, the more and the more they will return. The more strength they will gain. Become indifferent. Never fight with the mind. Do not use any violent effort in concentration. Relax all muscles and nerves. Relax completely. Divine light will only descend over a completely calm mind eye. Drink the nectar in the deep silence. In deep silence, Atman's mysteries will be revealed to you. There will be light, knowledge, purity, and bliss everywhere. This silence is mysterious. Enter this silence. Get to know this silence. Become silence itself. Stay in silence and know yourself. I don't sin more time. Meditate. Meditate. Don't sin even another minute. Meditation will remove all the miseries of your life. This is the only way. The benefits of silence are incalculable. Never give up on this practice. The mind is always ready to deceive you and prevent you from practicing. Do not hear the shrill voice of the mind. Listen to the sweet and silent voice of the soul. Now, come from words. Remove to a lone room. Close your eyes and have a deep, silent meditation. Feel your presence. Fill your heart with love. Destroy thoughts, whims, fantasies. Deep, deeply in the most intimate recess of the heart, dive into the brilliant Atman and drink the nectar of immortality. Enjoy the silence. Now, Silence, silence, and then...